You know, record share has been a common uh, uh, form of execution in the United States for a number of decades, but when it first began, not say it was experimental, but it was something that the public really didn't know was going to work or even going to be de rigueur or not. So today we're going to be t uh, doing the first in a two-part series talking about the first woman and first man to be executed under the U.S. penal system. Now, the first woman to be executed was a unique case of maybe uh, a housekeeper gone wrong. Her name was Martha M. Place. Now, born September 18, 1849, in Reedington Township, New Jersey. She was sent to the chair on March 20, 1899, in the Sing Sing Prison in Ozening, New York, a very rough facility. She was sent to the chair for the murder of her stepdaughter, Ida Place. Now, Martha Place was born Martha Maddie Gerritsen on September 18, 1849, in Reedington Township, New Jersey, to Ellen Nee Wyckoff and Isaac V. N. Gerritsen. Place was struck in the head by a sleigh at age 23. 23. Her brother claimed that she never completely recovered and uh, that the accident left her mentally unstable. Now, prior to relocating to New York, uh, Place lived in New Jersey working as a dressmaker. She married a man named Wesley Savakul, but she abandoned him after giving birth to a son, Ross. Wesley left when Ross was three, and finding herself in hardship, Martha gave Ross away for adoption, going to the Aschenbach family of Newark, who had recently lost a son. They renamed him William. In 1893, Martha went to work as a housekeeper for a man called William W. Place at 598 Hannock Han Street in Brooklyn, who she would later marry uh, all, after almost a year in his employ. After the marriage, Martha asked that the guy get another house, housekeeper, Hilda Jans. Now, Place had a daughter named Ida from her previous marriage. William married Martha to help him raise his daughter, although it was later rumored that Martha was jealous of Ida. William called the police at least once after his wife threatened to kill Ida. Now, on the evening of February 7, 1898, William Place arrived at his Brooklyn home and was attacked by Martha, who was wielding an axe. William escaped and ran for help. When the police arrived, they found Martha Place in critical condition. She was lying on the floor with clothes over her head, and gas from her burners was escaping into her room. Upstairs, he discovered the body of 17-year-old Ida Place lying on a bed, blood coming from her mouth. William was an amateur photographer, which involved the use of acid, and the murderer had thrown this acid in Ida's eyes. The evidence later indicated Ida Place died from asphyxiation. Martha Place was eventually hospitalized and arrested. Now, police proclaimed her innocence while awaiting trial. One contemporary newspaper report described the defendant in this way. She is rather tall and spare with a pale, sharp face. Her nose is long and pointed, her chin sharp and prominent, her lips thin, and her forehead retreating. There is something about her face that reminds me of a rat's, and the bright but changeless eyes somehow strengthened the impression. Yeah, no, that's, that's not a one-sided description I've ever heard. Now, Place was eventually found guilty of the murder of her stepdaughter Ida and sentenced to, to death because her husband was a key witness against her. Now, the governor of the state of New York, Teddy Roosevelt, was asked to commute Place's death sentence, but he refused. Having next, never executed a woman in an electric chair, those responsible for carrying out the death warrant devised a new way to place the electrodes upon her, deciding to slit her dress and to place the electrode on her ankle. Edwin F. Davis was the executioner, and according to reports of witnesses, she died instantly. Now, Martha Place was buried in a family cemetery uh, plot in East Millstone, New Jersey, without religious uh, observance. Now, although Place, uh, Place was the first woman to die in a chair, she was the third to be sentenced to die by this method, the first two being serial killer Lizzie Halliday, for an 1894 conviction, commuted and sent to an asylum, and Maria Barbara Barbella, who was sentenced in 1895 and acquitted in the next year. Now, this came shortly after the first person to be executed in an electric chair, and we'll get that in part two of this podcast series. Again, we provide this information as a public service. We're not glorifying this form of execution, nor the details of the case, but to present it in a historical perspective. Thanks for listening. Bye.